A carbanion is an anion in which carbon has an unshared pair of electrons and bears a negative charge usually with three substituents for a total of eight valence electrons. The carbanion exists in a trigonal pyramidal geometry. Formally, a carbanion is the conjugate base of a carbon acid. R3CH plus B minus R3C minus plus HB where B stands for the base. A carbanion is one of several reactive intermediates in organic chemistry. Theory A carbanion is a nucleophile. The stability and reactivity of a carbanion is determined by several factors. These include the inductive effect. Electronegative atoms adjacent to the charge will stabilize the charge. Hybridization of the charge-bearing atom. The greater the S character of the charge-bearing atom, the more stable the anion. The extent of conjugation of the anion. Resonance effects can stabilize the anion. This is especially true when the anion is stabilized as a result of aromaticity. A carbanion is a reactive intermediate and is encountered in organic chemistry for instance in the E1CB elimination reaction and in organometallic chemistry and for instance a Grignard reaction or in alkyl lithium chemistry. Stable carbanions do however exist. In 1984 Olmsted presented the lithium crown ether salt of the triphenyl methyl carbanion from triphenyl methane, N-butylithium and 12 crown 4 at low temperatures, adding N-butylithium to triphenyl methane in THF at low temperatures followed by 12 crown 4 results in a red solution and the salt complex precipitates at minus 20 degrees Celsius. The central C-C bond lengths are 145 pm with the phenol ring propelled at an average angle of 31.2 degrees. This propeller shape is less pronounced with a tetramethylaminium counter and one tool for the detection of carbanions in solution is proton NMR. A spectrum of cyclopene to diene in DMSO shows four vinylic protons at 6.5 ppm and two methylene bridge protons at 3 ppm whereas the cyclopene to dienyl anion has a single resonance at 5.50 ppm. Carbon acids any molecule containing ACH can lose a proton forming the carbanion. Hence any hydrocarbon containing CH bonds can be considered an acid with a corresponding pKa value. Methane is certainly not an acid in its classical meaning yet its estimated pKa is 56. Compare this to acetic acid with pKa 4.76. The same factors that determine the stability of the carbanion also determine the order in pKa in carbon acids. These values are determined for the compounds either in water in order to compare them to ordinary acids. In dimethyl sulfoxide in which the majority of carbon acids and their anions are soluble or in the gas phase. With DMSO the acidity window for solutes is limited to its own pKa of 35.5. Note that the anions formed by ionization of acetic acid, ethanol, and aniline are not carbanions. Starting from methane in Table 1, the acidity increases. When the anion is aromatic, either because the added electron causes the anion to become aromatic, or because the negative charge on carbon can be delocalized over several already aromatic rings. When the carbanion is surrounded by strongly electronegative groups, through the partial neutralization of the negative charge, when the carbanion is immediately next to a carbonyl group, the alpha protons of carbonyl groups are acidic, because the negative charge in the enolate can be partially distributed in the oxygen atom. Meldrum's acid and barbituric acid, historically named acids, are in fact a lactone and a lactame respectively. But their acidic carbon protons make them acidic. The acidity of carbonyl compounds is an important driving force in many organic reactions such as the Aldol reaction. Chiral carbanions. With the molecular geometry for a carbanion described as a trigonal pyramid the question is whether or not carbanions can display chirality. Because if the activation barrier for inversion of this geometry is too low any attempt at introducing chirality will end in racemization. C. 
similar to the nitrogen inversion. However, solid evidence exists that carbanions can indeed be chiral for example in research carried out with certain organolithium compounds. The first ever evidence for the existence of chiral organolithium compounds was obtained in 1950. Reaction of chiral 2 iodoroctane octane with secbutylithium in petroleum ether at minus 70 degrees Celsius followed by reaction with dry ice yielded mostly racemic 2-methylbutyric acid but also an amount of optically active 2-methyloctanoic acid which could only have formed from likewise optical active 2-methylheptilithium with the carbon atom linked to lithium the carbanion. On heating the reaction to 0 degrees Celsius the optical activity is lost. More evidence followed in the 1960s. A reaction of the CI's isomer of 2-methyl cyclopropyl bromide with secbutylithium again followed by carboxylation with dry ice yielded CIS 2-methyl cyclopropyl carboxylic acid. The formation of the trans isomer would have indicated that the intermediate carbanion was unstable. In the same manner the reaction of l bromo l methyl 2 2 diphenyl cyclopropane with n butylithium followed by quench with methanol resulted in product with retention of configuration. If recent data chiral methylithium compounds the phosphate 1 contains a chiral group with a hydrogen and a deuterium substituent. The stanyl group is replaced by lithium to intermediate 2 which undergoes a phosphate-phosphorane rearrangement to phosphorane 3 which on reaction with acetic acid gives alcohol 4. Once again in the range of minus 78 degrees Celsius to 0 degrees Celsius the chirality is preserved in this reaction sequence. History a carbon ionic structural first made an appearance in the reaction mechanism for the benzoin condensation as correctly proposed by Clark and Lapworth. In 1907, 